History stands testimony to the fact that some of the biggest hits in the music world has come from songs that musicians consider to be frivolous or sure to be flops. The Sweet Child O' Mine song from Guns N' Roses is just one example of such a song that the band thought would be a sure flop and went on to become one of the biggest hits in the music world. The song and the story behind this song are equally interesting and intriguing. Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose isn't a musician who is known for writing romantic songs, his passionate love affairs, or anything related to romance. His image rather leans on the classic rock and roll lifestyle according to most fans, however. There's always one person who can change that and even made Axl Rose write a romantic poem later to be turned into the monumental song, Sweet Child O' Mine, that is Aaron Everly, the daughter of Everly Brothers singer Don Everly. Aaron Everly was a model who dated several celebrities, including actor Donovan Leach and actor David Arquette. However, her most memorable relationship was with the legendary lead singer Axl Rose. In 1986, Aaron met Axl Rose when they both attended a party. She was living in New York at the time and was just visiting Los Angeles, but as their relationship blossomed, she moved back to L.A. Slash's friend Mark Cantor remembers this period well, and he says of that time that Aaron was well put together, working as a model, and she always looked too good to be hanging around with the band. He says that Aaron is proud of Sweet Child O' Mine, that she starred in the video and had a great time, and as he says, at the time Axel and Aaron were deeply in love. That's a good thing even if things didn't tend well for them. While the lovebirds seemed like a perfect match at first, Rose first filed for divorce less than a month later. Both Axl Rose and Erring Everly later changed their minds, during which Everly became pregnant. Unfortunately, she suffered a miscarriage in October 1990, which affected Rose emotionally since she wanted to start a family. Everly broke up with Rose the following November after an argument. Thus, they divorced in January 1991. While this legendary love affair didn't last very long, it changed Guns N' Roses frontman into a romantic lover. That's when one of the most iconic songs of the band, Sweet Child O' Mine, was created, initially as a poem that was penned by Axl Rose. In addition to the huge success of the track, it represents the ultimate romantic side of Rose thanks to his love for Aaron Everly. To put it very succinctly, Sweet Child O' Mine is a love song. The titular Sweet Child actually refers to the love interest of Axl Rose, the song's writer and performer. Even more specifically, he wrote the song in reference to his woman Erin Everly, who he even briefly married a few years later. So throughout most of the track, he is expressing his admiration for this lady, particularly in terms of how her appearance makes him feel, and he does not use the standard terminology found in popular love songs. Rather, his words are very poetic, where he actually presents himself as more of the child when it comes to the effect she has on him. The song ends with him questioning her over the direction of their relationship, in the sense of where she too would like to take it. Overall, throughout the song, there is no overt indication that he is even singing to a romantic interest, which makes Sweet Child O' Mine shine even more brightly as an example of true lyrical artistry. Despite its accompanying critically acclaimed instrumental, it was written in five minutes. It was one of those songs, only three chords. You know that guitar lick Slash does at the beginning. It was kinda like a joke because we thought, what is this song? It's gonna be nothing. It'll be filler on the record. Slash was just messing around when he first wrote that lick. Slash came up with the riff when he was playing around on his guitar. He thought it was silly and wanted nothing to do with it, but Axel loved it and had him keep playing it. Izzy Stradlin added some chords, and the song came together. According to Duff McKagan's 2012 autobiography, Slash always considered it the worst Guns N' Roses song. 
Axel listened to a bunch of Linyard's Skynyard songs before recording his vocal. He liked their down-home, genuine sound and wanted to duplicate it on this track. The song revealed a sensitive side that Rose hadn't shown before and has done so sporadically since. A lot of rock bands are too wimpy to have any sentiment or any emotion in any of their stuff unless they are in pain, said Rose at the time. Sweet Child O' Mine is the first positive love song I've ever written, but I never had anyone to write anything about before. Sweet Child O' Mine appeared on the band's debut album Appetite for Destruction and released in June 1988 as the album's third single and topped the Billboard Hot 100 charts right away, becoming the band's only number one U.S. single.